Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today I will be showing you how to draw a complete stress strain graph that has all the main important points labeled in it. Let's begin. On this axis is stress. So let me label this as stress. And on this axis we have strain. I will be choosing I will be choosing green color first to draw a straight line starting from here up till somewhere here. This green line is straight line which shows this, that stress is directly proportional to strain and this green line ends at a point that I will be marking with a black color and this is proportional limit. So let us label this as PL which is proportional limit and this whole green line is the elastic region of stress strain graph. So let's label this as elastic region and you know that uh, stress divided by strain would lead you to a constant which is Young's modulus of elasticity. So this green line is the area where the stress is directly proportional to strain and it's a straight line. This is the elastic region or area of elastic deformation of a material and it ends at a point which is called PL proportional limit. Now I will be choosing another color for example let me choose blue color and this will be a curved line from proportional limit onward will be a curved line that will end for example here. This blue curved line is the plastic deformation or plastic region of stress strain curve. So this is the plastic deformation area and this graph or this line would end at a point that let's say we would call as T. This is a fracture point. We would label this at, as T. You can also label it as F. Fracture point, I would label it as T. So this is the point T where the material finally fractures. This green is the area of elastic deformation that the material uh, comes back to its original position after the stress is removed. But this area, which is this line, which is depicted in blue color after proportion limit is the, is the line when, when we apply stress, the material does not regain its original position and there is some amount of permanent deformation left in the material. You can label this as plastic deformation. The stress at which this material fractures, this is also known as ultimate tensile stress or ultimate tensile strength, UTS. And the stress at which some amount of plastic deformation has occurred is called yield stress. And it's a point slightly above the proportional limit. So let's label that with red color here. And this point is labeled as point E in the book Applied Intermaterials by John McCabe, 9th edition. This proportional uh, this uh, yield strength or yield stress ys is labeled as point e in applied entry materials by john mckeep so this is the yield strength this is the proportional limit this is the ultimate tensile strength or ultimate tensile stress and this is the point t the point of fracture now there are two things left resilience and toughness resilience is basically the energy absorbed by the material Till proportional limit or within the elastic limit so we will be drawing a line and let's choose purple color for it from proportional limit and down on the strain and this region or this area under curve is all resilience so you can write resilience over here let me write, write resilience over here. Resilience. 
and now let me choose another color for example yellow I will be drawing a straight line from the point P or the point of fracture down to the strain and this whole area under curve from point T is the toughness so you are going to write it as toughness toughness is not just starting from proportional limit to the fracture point but it's from the beginning of the stress strain graph or curve till the material fractures so this all area under curve is toughness and the area under curve till proportional limit is resilience so this is how you are going to mention the important points on a stress strain graph i hope inshallah this graph has cleared much of your concepts regarding how will you be able to show majority of the important points and definitions in one graph and this is one of the best ways to represent stress stress strain curve graphically and show all the important major points that you read in the theory but you are unable to find all those important points and major points labeled in any graph so remember proportional limit yield stress or yield strength and ultimate tensile stress or ultimate tensile strength plus the fracture point then you have to mention the elastic region and plastic deformation area you have to show resilience and toughness and you can mention uh, young's modulus by sh by drawing a line from stress to the screen line and then from the screen line to the strain showing that this is basically constant or it's a ratio between stress and strain and it's a constant value because in this area the stress strain graph is directly proportional to each other Please subscribe to this channel for more videos. I hope this video and I hope this graphical representation helped you a lot. Zakala Khairi, thank you so much.